All right, everybody. Back once again. Scream 7. Melissa Brera addresses if she'll return to the franchise. And this is coming from the direct. Right there. Okay, so we're going to read it. Scream 6 actress Melissa Brera addressed if she would return in Scream 7. Wes Craven's meta commentary on the horror genre is back in the limelight after a successful revitalization semi-reboot that came in 2022 Scream, a.k.a. Scream 5. This new set of films has brought the focus on a new young cast headed up by rising megastar Jenna Ortega, who I've become a big fan of, while also honoring some stars from the franchise's story past. While another entry in the Scream franchise has yet to be officially announced, given the financial success of the new era of the series, a seventh film feels inevitable. It's going to happen. Melissa Barrera on her Scream future. In the past, in the latest issues of Total Film, Scream and Scream 6 star Melissa Barrera revealed if she would be game to appear in a potential seventh movie in the storied franchise. Burrow, who plays Sam Carpenter in the recent Scream film, said that if, when a Scream 7 were to happen, she would not be opposed to returning. Sounds like she would. Uh, we're going to read a quote. I think the beauty of the Scream universe is that anything can happen and anyone can come back. I'm not opposed to it, Barrera says. The Scream actress has previously addressed the potential future of Sam Carpenter telling Digital Spy in an interview that there are so many places that Sam could go. We're going to read another quote from uh, Melissa here. There are so many places that Sam could go. That's one of the reasons that when I read the script for Scream 5, I was so interested in the character. There's so much potential where, here of where she could go with her meta mental health. She's just unpredictable. I find that Darkness in her makes her that much more interesting to play and to watch. And it was amazing in Scream 6 what she did. She added that the trust, she added that she trusts the screenwriters and knows they will know where to take her in a way that will be unexpected and cool for the fans. She's the hero, but she's also kind of the villain. It's this contradiction in her that I find fascinating. If we get to do another one I would love to see the writers have done really good job with her up until this point so I trust them just to know where it where to take her that will be unexpected and cool for the fans one direction the character could go according to Vera vi, vi comicbookmovies.com would be introducing her mother who Vera wants to see played by MCU's Alumni, Selma Hayek. Now, that's a mega star right there, guys. I mean, Selma Hayek going to be in this. Well, she did uh, the first uh, From Dust Till Dawn. So, it wouldn't surprise me if Selma Hayek would do something like this, like a screen film. I am dying to work with Selma Hayek. It would be a dream if she played my mother. It would be amazing. What's next for the Scream franchise? While Scream 7 has not been officially announced by Paramount, as of yet, it has to be coming. Given the resurgence the series has seen and the rising stars, its revamped cast features Jenna Ortega and Samara Weaving, uh, which was in, she was in Scream 6, Samara Weaving was, the studio would be smart to get a seventh film again following the Carpenter sisters off the ground as quickly as it can. With Scream 6, the series took a big swing moving from the fictional small town of Woodsboro, California to the big Apple, New York City, making the biggest and scariest Scream adventure to date. This has some wondering where the franchise could go next without getting too ridiculous. Uh, well, with the Carpenter Sisters in college now, maybe a Carpenter summer vacation could be in the center of the next film. With the two sisters potentially heading for Europe or Asia to decompress from everything they have been through in the last few years. Uh, this would, again, provide a new and exciting look for the signature stream action to take place and could even lead further into the meta commentary on the genre angle of it all, poking fun at the idea of these sisters not being able to escape the ghost face mask no matter where they are on the globe. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be really interesting. I mean, I love 
she's she's opposed to coming back. It sounds like she would come back. I'm hoping she would. It's no doubt in my mind to all the screen fans that there is going to be a seventh film. There has to be. So uh, definitely. But the whole thing with Selma Hayek, uh, most very want Selma Hayek to be uh, uh, the mother, her mother in the in Scream Seven. I w- it wouldn't surprise me if that would happen because you know Selma Hayek was in the very first Dust Till Dawn, but I mean she's more of like I think a mega star. But then you know you look at you know things they had like uh, back in Scream Three you had Lance Hendrickson. You had uh, Dermot Maroney, who was, you know, I, I, I think he's a, a big star as well. Uh, he's been been in a couple of uh, other other films, but uh, I think it would be really, really interesting to see what the Carpenter sisters do in the seventh film. I'm hoping that we get Nev Campbell back for it, and I hope uh, Courtney Cox does sign on for this one. That would be a, a huge bummer if they didn't, uh, if they didn't explain, you know, why she isn't in the seventh film, but uh, yeah, there you have it from Mendoza Sabrera. This you know interview uh, article was on direct. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it. Do you guys think that Melissa uh, uh, is going to come back? She has to come back, guys. Why not? I mean, uh, I loved her in Scream Six. I loved her more in Scream Six than I did in Scream Scream Five. But let me know what you guys' thoughts on this article. I'd love to hear them. Take care.